Today, three U.S. soldiers were killed in Jordan when a drone packed with explosives struck a shelter where troops were sleeping. We lost three brave soldiers in an attack on our base. Yes. And uh, I've asked if I'm going to stop all three of those soldiers. Jesus. President Biden blaming radical Iran-backed militant groups operating in the region. More than 30 U.S. troops were also wounded, according to two U.S. officials, including several who were medevaced out because of the severity of their injuries. A spokesperson for the Jordanian government denied the attack occurred on their soil, but U.S. officials insist it was in Jordan. This is the first time U.S. troops have been killed during the more than three months of assaults by Iranian-backed militia groups. Now more than 160 attacks against bases with Americans in Iraq and Syria since October 17. And just one week ago, multiple U.S. troops were injured when a barrage of ballistic missiles hit al-Assad Air Base in Iraq. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin releasing a statement saying he is outraged and deeply saddened. The attack targeted a small outpost near the Syrian border known as Tower 22, according to U.S. officials. The troops there work with and advise the Jordanian military. But it also supports the U.S. garrison on the other side of the border in Syria, called Al Tan. We visited that base five years ago. The troops there tasked with keeping ISIS in check. But the entire area has a much bigger mission. Situated along a highway that runs from Tehran to Baghdad and all the way to Damascus, the troops there are cutting off a land bridge for Iran to move weapons and fighters into Syria. Back now with Courtney at the Pentagon. And Courtney, we're hearing there was another attack today. That's right, Kate. Kate another attack drone targeted Al Assad Air Base in Iraq, but there were no injuries reported. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.